Okay, so the primary function of the technical officer is to um, support teaching, uh, set up teaching labs, and uh, maintenance repair, frontline maintenance repair of equipment. Uh, my first impressions of uh, Griffith and Mount Rat campus was uh, I couldn't believe I was working in this luxurious um, place in the middle of the bush. Uh, now the new science labs, um, when I came here they were pretty old, that was in 1994, so they were built in uh, 1970. Uh, they were functional but getting a bit tired and uh, over the years uh, they just wore more and more. Um, so uh, I think it was about 2016 uh, we started uh, having meetings about uh, upgrading them. Uh, so I was uh, strongly involved in uh, design. <coughs> um, and we, uh, uh, we revamped them uh, to modern day standards. Um, Jim Richmond came back uh, for the opening and he said, when we built them in 1970, they were cutting edge. That was what you would find in an uh, ordinary high school. Um, they served their purpose and he loved what we'd done with the new labs. Uh, well, actually it really comes back to the students. Um, uh, being allowed to talk to the students and um, uh, discovering the ones that are just about to give up. Uh, they've uh, not understood uh, a simple concept really um, and panicked and the, uh, the word, the, their words were, uh, I'm going to drop out after today, I just had enough. And you say, well, what's wrong? You know, what aren't you understanding? And they tell you and you think, oh, okay, I've seen this a thousand times. This is all they do. And you just go through the, uh, the steps with them. Um, and they say to you, is that all there is to it? Is that all they want? Yes, that's all they want. Do this and, uh, and all of a sudden they get their confidence and they just take off and fly. So going from giving up to succeeding and coming back as masters uh, to do their master's uh, degree uh, afterwards was probably the most joyful thing to see.